Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look, we'll go back in time and have a look at an old build of Windows 10. I normally look at new builds, this time we're going to look at an old build. I'm going back to the very early days of Windows Vista. This is a build 5048, and uh, this is the first of the build, builds that was leaked after the reset. So, what happened was Windows Vista was actually originally long window, code name Windows Longhorn which was an ambitious project, a replacement for Windows XP, and had a lot of new features coming in it with um, new file systems and new graphic systems and everything. And partway through development, things got messy, overcomplicated, and Microsoft kind of scrapped the project, went back to the drawing board and re-envisaged the project, which later became Windows Vista. If we know how well that turned out, but of course that became Windows 7 and became the operating systems we know and love. So... In this video, I'm looking at the Longhorn Aero user interface that is in this build. And I said, this is the first build. This is from 2005 and it was uh, part of the uh, WinHEC 2005 developer conference. So I'm just setting this machine up now. So once this is finished, I'm going to go into it and we'll have a look at the features. OK, here we are. It's just loading up now. OK, here we are. So this is the user interface. You can see... It doesn't look like Vista and it doesn't look like XP. It's kind of a hybrid between the two. This was the first time that this new kind of interface was showing off, really, because this was post-reset. So this introduced the category view of um, control panel, as we saw in Vista. And you can see we've got the... Not the aero effect that you see in later builds of Windows Vista, but you can kind of see that glassy type effect that they were to introduce. So this bill introduced the automatic lists of um, the documents. So if you go to my documents, these are kind of queries of them rather than just based purely on the folder structures. And I've not got any documents in it here at the moment. Maybe I'll try putting something in so we can we can see. But this with the idea behind this is that it's kind of this queried view of the of the data. So it's pulling it all back as opposed to just straight file orders. And you can see some of the things here that when she's like, you could order prints from these these pictures because it knows it's this picture file. We can view by location, we can view by people. So it's that kind of database view of the of the data that we'd see in later in later builds of Windows. So you can see the default browser here, Internet Explorer 6, I think this is. It is. Uh, it's not currently. It doesn't work too well. Anyway, uh, I think in the past I've got these old builds to work on something like Google. Most Microsoft websites don't work, um, but it should theoretically work. It's got network access. I think that's going to try and do something. The other thing I noticed, it's got the old Windows Media Player on there as well. Windows Media Player 10. Um, this is the one that you could skin and do all that kind of stuff. Well, you could even do Windows 7 one, but uh, this is the, the sort of the later version of that. Um, it could work as a media server and that kind of thing. So this is the one that I think switch, uh was a standalone app, but you could actually get it on XP and it ship with Vista. What else have we got on here? Oh, we even got the mini mode. Do you remember the mini mode? Uh, if we go to my computer, we can see how that lays out. There's a bug that shows that the CD drive is full, which technically it is, but it doesn't need to tell you that. Um, and here you can see the sort of the documents view. So you see here it's called documents, which is how Vista was. I think XP was my documents. And uh, so here's, here it still refers to as my, and I think on later versions and later builds they drop the, the my out of it. It's got none of the sidebars that were in later or in in earlier longhorn builds um so i had the sidebars for you know the clock and the calendar and all that all that's gone from here as part of the reset that they they disappeared this is pretty similar to how it was in in xp let's have a see if there's any themes in here we've got aero style uh so they I can switch it to XP style, so you can see even the screen switcher looks. So it looks very much like XP there, um, and you can see that it really is a, an evolution of XP. 
Uh, we put the aero one on. This, the aero one, obviously, was the one that was ditched, and we got the aero glass one uh, eventually. But the older, longer home, the older long home build before the reset had a very different UI as well, which you can see on my previous vi video. If we have a look at some of the accessories that are in here, you see these are all very familiar. You've got the standard paint in there and the standard notepad and everything else. So really the applications hadn't really changed much from XP. See this search box here, uh, it's actually the first time this was shown was in this build as well. So this is something that uh, we've kind of got used to in even in Windows 10 you do that search and that was first shown in this build here in in this long home build. We have the classic one which is the old square one and then this modern one. That is what the XP one looks like and now you're looking at the one that this prototype of Vista looks like. So let's go back to notepad now. Uh, so let's go back to control panel now have a look around here. And I, you can see this this looks much more like Vista than it did from, from XP. You can see there's still w work to be done when they were de developing this kind of it looks a bit weird but that's the heading and then you've got the the properties that, uh, that it brought back. And even some of these screens still look very much like you would see in Windows 10 in some places. Some of the old control panel is still there in in various degrees and uh, here's a different view, what they call classic view. The zoom was first introduced with this this build in um, in paint. There are some other things uh, in Internet Explorer. You can there's an option to completely remove uh, your browsing history, which there clear browsing record, which a feature actually only came eventually to Internet Explorer seven. So this is IE six. Um, there were some other bits and people. There was a, some a reference I found to people near me a networking uh, peer to peer networking system. There you can see that's that people near me. No idea what it does, but uh, that was one of the things that was introduced in this build as well. And there's some other things that were introduced in like Sync Manager to sync in offline files and things like that. Uh, even the speech engine was introduced into this, so you could have speech recognition, speech synthesis in this build. Although I can't test those because the audio drivers aren't working uh, through my device. This is actually essentially um, the starting point almost for, for Vista and uh, based on some of the code base that we're using server 2003 and kind of taking a bit of an approach of XP very different from the Longhorn previous build which you can check out on my uh, videos on the YouTube channel and you can see how that was kind of revolutionary this has gone back to basics I and mean, evolution and brought us back to, to Vista which introduced things like the user account control and things like that which were uh, Annoyances at the time, but now we've kind of got used to the way it works and how it works much better now since Windows 7 and on to Windows 10. But anyway, there's a look at an old build of Windows, an unreleased version of Windows, later to become Windows Vista. It makes a change from doing the new builds of Windows 10. So I've got old build videos as well, including Whistler and uh, some, uh, some systems that were never released, a consumer one. Uh, a consumer operating system that Microsoft never released. You can find that on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.